Okay, how to create the POM point of measurements in CLO. So to get started, you wanna make sure your rulers are open. There's a way to do it. I honestly will probably always forget. So I recommend just going to help and type in ruler and look at that, apparently it's under display environment show ruler, fair enough. So make sure that's open. I'm gonna probably minimize our avatar for a little bit right now. Okay, so there's a tool right here. So this is like, I guess it's edit. So underneath it is the tool we need, point of measurement. So I'm gonna click it. Actually, before I click it, I think I'm gonna add some guidelines to start. So to do that, I'm just gonna click and drag from the ruler and a guideline just pops out and I should zoom in. Now I'm gonna put it right at my high point shoulder. Um, I like doing that at the armhole as well. Uh, we might need some internal lines. I'm kind of getting this ready so I can figure out where my neck drop is. I'm going to put one where the neck drop is as well. Um, I kind of want one coming out of the side seam. Well, okay, if I'm going to do my cross chest, I might do it an inch below. So maybe I should actually add a point right there. I'm going to right click and type in one. So we'll do our chest measurement one inch below armhole. And then I, oh, this part is so hard because usually you're measuring just straight. So it's not gonna be perpendicular from this. It's really gonna be perpendicular from center front since that's where the uh, grain line is. So I'm gonna pull a guideline. Ah, come on guideline, let me get you. There you are. That hits that point and also hits the grain line because that's gonna be our across front measurement or across chest. We need to figure out how far down to measure the um, across front, hmm, maybe, okay, I don't really use the measuring tools too often, but I really wanna use it right now. Um, let's see, I'm not as familiar with that. What if we make an internal line? Let's try that, if I click, no, no, hmm. Oh gosh, oh, I know, what if I click this guideline and right click, no. So, okay. <sighs> so I'm trying to figure out where to put this internal line. I wanna move the guideline. Okay, now I can click this little point. I wanna add a perpendicular internal line. It's gonna be perpendicular from the Y, no, from the X. Perpendicular from X, okay. And how long do I want it? Okay, so my cross measurement, what if it's only five inches below high point? No, that's two. I kind of want it around here. Where, uh, maybe I do want it five inches. I'll leave it five inches. Okay, so my cross measurement is gonna be right here and this guideline is five inches below high point shoulder. I guess I'll just have to remember that. Okay, I think this is pretty good to get us started. Uh, oh dear, I just moved everything. Did I seriously just move everything? <laughs> oh my God. That's great. Oh my gosh, really? Well, that, so maybe we should do some locking so that doesn't happen. Yeah, I think I said five inches. Um, is that right? Yeah, that's five inches. Okay, okay. And then actually what I need to do, I didn't move everything. I just moved this guy right here. That's my neck drop. I need to, oh, where's my little internal line? Did I seriously just get it? Oh my gosh. Let's try this one more time. Third time's a charm, right? You gotta do things three times. Okay. We want it five inches. Okay. Oh, it goes away. Hmm. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> That's really weird. I don't know why it went away. Um. One more time for good measure, and we can just ignore it. I don't care. Cancel. One more time. Extend. Five. Why is it? Oh, oh, because it extends to the bottom. Death. I would like for it to stay, but I feel like it's going to disappear. Oh, no, it did it. Yay. Okay. Whew. It's kind of late tonight, so making silly mistakes. Okay, so let's zoom out. We can put this guy back on the high point shoulder. 
and we can bring this guy down here and that should help me I think so okay let's do this get this guy fit in here so here we go let's get our tool here it is point of measurement um, when I read it, just a double click at the beginning and double click at the end when I was practicing I was just clicking one time and double clicking at the end it seemed to be working I don't know. So here I guess I'll just click click for fun yeah I guess a double clicks good I'm gonna hold shift come straight down I'm gonna do a click click cool that's it so why don't we name this guy so I believe it's under BOM so I went up to like where it says simulation and chose BOM uh, nope that's wrong sorry let's go back to simulation do this aha uh -huh. it was under object browser and there's all these tabs so your tab might be on fabric so kind of defaults and there's like a little arrow click POM so the first one they just called point of measurement so we're just going to change it to HPS okay cool now the second one maybe I will do my front neck drop so I'm going to double click 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 and hold shift and click click uh oh Okay, I'm going to hit Command Z. It doesn't even look like shift worked. All right, here, show it again. Click, click. Holding shift. Oh, the move shift doesn't matter. I thought it would, but hmm, weird. Click, click. I guess return. Maybe I don't need to double. Oh, I'm using, am I using the wrong tool? I am. I'm using the edit one. Ooh, good to know. Okay, underneath it. There we are. Click, click. Hold shift. Yeah, now shift's in action. Click, click. Boom. Let's change that guy to front neck drop. Um, let's zoom out. Okay, let's do a click, click, holding shift. Click, click. Cool. And then that can be um, a cross neck or neck opening. Okay. We can do, I guess, right here. I only clicked it one time. So I don't know if it matters, the first one. Click, click. But the second one definitely has to be double clicked. That way, if you just click one time while you're still going, you can get some extra measurements. Um, this is going to be our across chest. One inch below arm hole. Um, with that said, I guys, this is going to be... And experimental can I do my sleeve length from center back so I'm gonna do a click 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 <laughs> click and then I want to find my armhole click straight oh, straight down I guess click click <laughs> I wonder if that's it it's probably not adding the space right I hope it's not adding the space anyways I'll say um Sleeve length. Sleeve length from center back. Okay. Now another thing I'm not super sure about are darts. What's it going to do for straight across? I do wonder. Let's see if it... So it looks like it's saying it's 25.32. Is it going to subtract my uh, darts? I don't know. Click, click. Hold shift. Click, click. Hmm. Let's just try that, I guess. Um, across bottom. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Ooh, yeah, no way, because look at it up here on her. That's definitely not working. So that's a delete. I'm going to hit delete. Nope. I guess I can right click. Oh, I know. I can get that little tool to white arrow. Click it. Right click. Delete. Yeah, we don't like that. Can I do it on here? I wonder if it would let me. Hmm. Okay, let's try that guy. Click, click. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, no. What if I just did this? Click. Uh, I wonder if it's going to add that space. Probably not. Click. Click. Click, click. It says it's 26. So it's like 5... Um, plus 7 is 12, uh, I don't know, is it doing it or not? Oh, let's hear, I know how to do it. <laughs> okay, 
this. If I take U, R5, and I hold shift, that's not, yeah, that's only 18 inches. Oh, hmm. Interesting. How could I do that where it doesn't add the space of the dart? So that's not really very good. I'm doing it wrong. Hmm. So, try again. Oh, no. I take you, right click, delete. Hmm. Not good enough. We do this. Okay. Let's try. Click. Wait, no. I'm going to do a click. Click, click. Click. That's the right click. Hmm. No. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to look that one up. Um, okay, so I'm going to get back to you about removing the dart excess while taking POM measurements, um, but you can at least get started. I want to show you what to do next when you are finished with all your measurements. Um, you actually need to move it to the closet sh by sharing it. So I am a little new with this too. I'm going to click this, and I think all I have to do is tech pack via closet? I don't know. I don't know if that'll work. I have to do share project first. I'm not sure. I'm going to try this. You have to be logged into the closet for this to work. So, oh, I think it's working. So this is ready to upload. Okay, let's go. Um, when I first did it, it took me to an, you know, um, a login menu. And then once I was logged in, there was like nothing. So then I had to go back and upload it. And it worked after I was logged in. So, okay, let's see, upload a new style. I guess this is it, so I check. Um, hit next. You guys are gonna love this part, I think. It's very exciting, actually. So it's making a tech pack, which is so cool. Um, so my garment only has one colorway, it doesn't have any buttons or anything cool, but all of that stuff would be listed in the tech pack, which is really neat. So it's still thinking about it. Mm -hmm. It's generating it, okay. There it goes. So this is so nice and organized. I love it. It's working hard, working hard. Here we go, okay. And look at this, so I can actually open it. It just downloaded a file, it called it default. So it has like a little intro page. It has the pictures of your garment. Okay, then it has like a cutter's must page. That's kind of cool, all your pieces and where they go. Our BOM colorway page, um, again, we only have one fabric, no trims. We only have one color, so that's not very exciting. I don't have any graphic art on it, but if I did, it would say where the placement is and how big it is. It's so cool. And then here's the money page that we're trying to do for this project, measurement. So what a beautiful POM sheet actually. The only problem is, why is it not in inches? Ooch, I'll have to figure that one out. Um, but it has pictures of where you measured it. That's what I love about it. So cool. Um, so there they are. We're just gonna have to figure out why they're not in inch. Oh, it's in a date. Weird. <laughs> okay, let me see real quick. If I right click this, da, 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 format cells. What's going on here? Uh, number. Let's so uh, just general, right? Number. Yeah, two decimals. Fine. Okay, what does that do? And it's so weird. I don't know why it's 400. That's fun. Um, anyways, this was exciting, but let's see. I wonder if I can go back and figure it out really quickly. Cloud, no, no, no. That's in inches. Wonder why it didn't save to inches in the tech pack. Odd. Let's go to the closet online. Okay, let's look at this thing. Uh, it's called default. Tech pack. You can just click. Oh, it's downloading it again. Great. Um, what's going on here? Version, annotation, colorway. Can you upload a file? Huh. Well, interesting. I don't know why it's downloading weird. Let's just open up the second one, see what that guy looks like too. Let's go straight to measurement. Okay. So if I look here, high point shoulder should be like 17.6. So let's go to Excel. All right. And then click measurement. 
I don't know what the heck, how to change that. Okay, I'll ask. All right. Um, but anyways, this is exciting, fun new thing. So um, if you would like to upgrade your POM sheets, you can use Clo, or you can just stick to the spreadsheet you made in Google Sheets. Either way will work for this assignment.